Yes, osmosis. But uh, just before, can I quickly recap on just like the diffusion? So diffusion, that's when like, um, like when, what you call it? It's like the movement of particles in like a liquid or a gas down a concentration gradient, like from high concentration to low, low concentration. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's like basically like so it goes from one place to another and it likes kind of spread spreading kind of out like the constant. So is that correct? Pardon? I can't. That was in the alveoli when like breathing in and out. So when breathing in, that's like from a high concentration, then to a low concentration when you like breathe out. Well, it's getting diffused like, well, because it's like, going well well because it's like so let's say like in alveoli how it's getting diffused or just in general like uh sorry i can't hear you it's like breaking apart audio Yes, I'm pretty clear. Just one thing about the fact that like alveoli, you said, how is it getting diffused? Is that because uh, the oxygenated blood, like what do you mean by how does it get diffused? Like, I'm sorry, but I can't hear you like at all. It's like breaking apart a lot, like your voice is breaking apart a lot. Okay. Yes. Yes, it's clearer now. Yes. Okay, so then, yeah. Okay, so because it's higher concentration, like in uh, alveoli, when it's diffusing into the capillaries, then it becomes a lower concentration, like when it, like it comes out of the capillaries, what I'm saying, like back into the alveoli. Since, uh, since the CO2 is more compared to oxygen in the capillaries here. No, I think like, I think I'm clear on it. I just understand that 
because because uh, like I want to focus on osmosis after this, but it's just that like the oxygen, right? So it's like higher concentration. So then it's going to lower concentration, you know, different. Yeah, so that's what I mean. So it has like carbon dioxide. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes, I understand it now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I get it now. So, yeah, it was osmosis. That was the other uh, thing. Osmosis in cells and osmosis in animal cells, like separately. So, do you mind? Yeah, so like in osmosis, can I like ask a few of like the questions like in so like when an animal like cell so if in like an animal cell the cell cytoplasm has a high water concentration cell, cell, cytoplasm, then the water like exits the cell by osmosis and the cell shrinks right and if the cell cytoplasm has a low water concentration and water then enters the cell by osmosis, so then cell starts to swell up like and then eventually like bursts. But then in a plant cell, when the cell cytoplasm that has a high water concentration, then water also exits, but then the cell is plasmalized, right? And then like kind of similar, but like, so when in the plant cell, cell cytoplasm has a low water concentration, water enters the cell by osmosis, and then like it, it becomes turgid, the cell becomes turgid, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's in like solution. But then, like in in when it's turgid, that means that like the vacuole and cytoplasm expands, doesn't it? Swells up when the cell is turgid, because when it pardon, yeah, so that. That basically means, yeah, yeah. So the, what I'm like meaning is that basically means that because the plant cell has a cell wall, it it can, you know, become like it. I always explain this. So basically, because the cell membrane is selectively permeable and the plant cell wall, like the cell wall in a plant cell, that's fully permeable, like it doesn't like, allow materials to exit or enter, right? The cell, like it's So that's why the cell won't burst and it's like turgid. That's what it means. Okay. So that's what I, yeah, I wanted to ask. So like the, like, so if a plant cell has high like water concentration, since it has high, concentration it will exit like the cell like the water and then the cell will shrink but it if 
So it's kind of like almost almost kind of opposite. So if it has a low uh, water concentration, then the like plant cell, then it will like the vacuum cytoplasm will expand. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. So like so separately. So like like what I'm trying to say is like for each and every like one of these like plant cells and animal cells, if they have low or high water concentration, so if it has high water concentration, then water exits the cell. But if it has low water concentration, then water enters the cell. And when it enters the cell, then it obviously swells up and in animal cell it bursts and in plant cell it's turgid but then when it has high water concentration and exits like water exits the cell by osmosis then both like then the plant cell is plasmalized so you know vacuum cytoplasm shrink and then in animal cell the cell shrinks so yeah so it's basically kind of if that's right that's like my understanding and then yeah so um so this like osmosis so this is basically like the what could you say so this is basically the movement of water molecules from a region of high water concentration to low water concentration yeah through selectively permeable membrane until, until it's equal right does that make sense? like to select the reformable membrane until it's equal because the, like the water molecules, they need to be equal, right, at the end. Because, so like, this is because, like, the selectively permeable membrane, that means that, like, a certain uh, materials or particles can exit and enter, like, allows, like, the cell membrane, like, if it's, or if it's selectively permeable membrane, it means that, like, it allows certain materials to exit and enter the cell. Yeah. Okay. So, um, would you like, um, I don't know, like, cause like until it's equal, like, would you be able to like draw maybe a picture of maybe the cell just so I could get a better understanding of how it would look like? Like, yeah, like what I mean is like, let's say if, like, let's say in a plant, if like the excursion, like let's say. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
That in solution, wait, so you said the orange one are the, which molecules are they again? Sorry. Okay, so like in, um, in solution two, there is more sugar molecules and in solution one, there's more water molecules. So, because because it's going from a uh, high water concentration to low water concentration, um, uh, from high to low, so then it would go from one to two, right? Like, so high. Yeah, high water concentration to a lower water concentration. Well, the sugar molecules, like what do you mean by what about them? Like, they are going to stay in the same place. Because it's only the like the selectively permeable membrane, it, like it only allows water molecules to exit and enter. Yes. So they can also then pass through. Okay. Yeah, so both of them have like equal. So that's why when it's like at the end, like when I like said that, uh, how, like it's the movement of water molecules from high to low concentration to selectively permeable membrane until like it's equal. So that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a cell and then like, you know, how it like detergent and then no change would obviously it will stay the same, but then also plasmalized. So. Yeah. 
the this is the cell wall. Oh, okay, yeah, Chlo uh, chloroplasts. So it would like the vacuole would become bigger, right? Okay, so like Yeah, so the so I mean the not the vacuole, sorry, so like the water will like there'll be like more water if it's like turgid and then yeah Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I like understand it now better. But like when it means that, let's say like for the one where like uh, the cell is uh, like turgid, right? So when it's like getting, uh, the vacuum cytoplasm expands, or, like it's just turgid, right? So when cell cytoplasm has a low water concentration, then water enters cell by osmosis. So, so where would like the water be entering like the cell? So like, what I'm trying to say is like, if the, if it's like a low water concentration, right? And then, the water enters the cell by osmosis. So, do I need to? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I know about that. It's just that if there's like a low water concentration, then water like will enter the cell like, so if basically it's just like kind of rules. So when the cell cytoplasm has a low water concentration, um, then the water will enter, like water enters cell by osmosis. But if it's a, a high water concentration, then like the cell and like water will exit the cell by osmosis. Okay, and it's like that, right? The order I've said it in, like the, the in like like a strong salt solution. Let's see, like the, it will have, yeah, like it will the plant cell will be plasmalized. Okay. Yeah.
Yeah, I understand it better. Like it's just like it's like high water concentration compared with the solution. Like let's say, yeah. Yeah. So like less water. So less water. Uh, like uh, then like higher water concentration compared with the solution. Then it will get like smaller. Like the cell will get get plasma like. Okay, yeah, I understand it. Is is there like um like before moving on to like another question or something, is it okay if like um I upload just like a picture onto here just to like kind of because there's like a part in my uh like I have this kind of like booklet, the one like those writing and work we did in. So is it okay if I like take a picture of that? Because I'm not sure if any of the like blanks are wrong. So I just want to double check if that's yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've just done I'll I'll just like uh, on my computer I won't have it, but like I'll log on to it from like my phone. Okay. And is it that um, diffusion and osmosis are passive processes while active transport that requires energy? Okay. I have uploaded it. Um, it's a bit like messy and stuff. It's like not the below writing. It's just this like box kind of table. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, it's just a bit messy. Sorry. Okay. And yeah, for the animal. Okay, so, okay, and one more question. What does DDW mean? When it's compared with DDW. I mean, I can ask my teacher again, but like, it's like fine. Like, I'm not just like, I'm just not sure like what exactly it means. Okay, so just what? Yeah, for like, because it's cleaner. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So when it says cell cytoplasm has a low water concentration compared with the, the whatever distilled water. Is there a way to like say this, that the cell, like when it says like has a low water concentration compared with something, can I not just say that uh, like it has this like blank water concentration or no, do I need to say like compared with something? Like, for like plant cell distilled water, let's say, when it says cell cytoplasm has a low water concentration compared with the DW, can I not just say that like it has a low water concentration or do I need to mention compared with? Okay, so is like what I'm trying to say is, is everything same for plant and animal cell except from like the names of like what happens to the cell and like the fact that plant cell has vacuum cytoplasm, the rest is like same, isn't it? That like, but when it says cell cytoplasm has a high water concentration compared with the solution, like, is it like high, isn't it supposed to be low water and then like high? Okay, yeah. So because of, okay, so because it's like not that much water, but then wouldn't you say like, not compared like so let's say would you be writing down then like cell cytoplasm has a high water concentration compared with solution okay so yeah that makes sense but then in distilled water when it says cell Okay. 
Okay, so like not like yeah, comparing them, yes, but the cell cytoplasm has a low water concentration compared with DDW. So like it has, but isn't it supposed to have like, what does it mean by a low water concentration compared with DDW? Because I thought that distilled water, isn't that the same thing as the DDW, like just something distilled water? Okay, the reason why I'm just confused is I just thought that if in plant cell, like in distilled water, the concentration of water will be more, and then in a salt solution, it will be less. That's like what I thought, because if that's why it would shrink, right? Because water, or is it the opposite way around? Like it's high water, that's why it shrinks. Yes, yeah, so like the uh, no, the plant cell like strong salt solution. So like the plant cell strong salt solution. So like I'm just saying the reason why I thought that is it supposed to be high water concentration because it needs to go to like a uh, low water concentration, therefore it shrinks. Like I understand the strong salt solution. It's more the one that's like distilled water. Like I don't get what it means by has a low water concentration compared with DDW. Okay, so have I written them wrong? Yeah, so Yes. Yeah, it's like that part I understand. It's the bit with distilled water. When it's saying low water, okay, so oh, so the cell cytoplasm itself has low water concentration compared with like fully 100% distilled water, let's say. So that's why when water enters the cell, so like high to low, water is like high to low, like... I mean, that's like it enters the cell by osmosis. Therefore, like it, like it becomes turgid. Yeah. So this has like, let's say, if the DW is like hundred percent, like for example, distilled water or something, then that would be like it's more of like water concentration is more compared to that in the cell cytoplasm already. Yeah, 
So that's why it goes from high to low. Yeah, yeah, I understand it now. It's just I like I was just stuck on like the start part, but I get it. So it's basically saying that the like distilled water that will like it's going like high to low as in like it's when it goes into the cell, it enters the cell by osmosis. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I get it now. And yeah, sure. But um, before that, actually, you mind if I just ask you one more thing about active transport? So cells carrying out active transport have many mitochondria, right? That produce energy during the aerobic respiration. I'll need to know about that, won't I? Because it's like on my summary page. has many mitochondria that produce energy during aerobic respiration because active transport needs energy, right? In order for the like carrier molecules to work, protein carrier molecules. Work. Yeah, so those need energy. So that energy is provided by the aerobic respiration, right? And then they take in ions from uh, low uh, concentration to high, like the molecules, the movement of ions. Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind if, sorry, what? Yes, yes, of course, yeah. Yes. To provide energy, like yeah. So basically, in animal cell, is there any use of like mitochondria or no? Like, yes. Okay, so it's like, yeah, so they're like, there's no difference, right? Like it's, okay, yeah. So because the mitochondria um, provides energy, uh, I'm just like writing sentence down, because the mitochondria provides energy, then the plant, like then a plant or animal cell, is able um, to respirate. Which uh, turns into energy. Like, so mitochondria provides, yeah, so when mitochondria provides energy, then the plant, then a plant or animal cell is able to respirate, which, um, but does, does that make sense? I guess, like mitochondria produce, I guess, energy. 
that produces energy then a plant or animal then a plant or animal cell is able to respirate which then uh, which then like provides us energy yeah so so like when i mean like if i were to summarize it Yeah. Yeah, so like I get it that like you know, mitochondria in the cell that provides energy and we are like also respirating. So that like, then that like whole process kind of is able to uh, like provide us like with energy that is like used in active transport as well. But the thing is that like, I'm saying like, if I were to summarize a sentence on it, like, like would this be right that mitochondria produces energy um uh, then a plant or animal cell is able to respirate so when mitochondria produces energy then a plant or animal cell is able to respirate which and then i'm like not sure if i should write which provides the which provides us like what should i write after that so no like when i'm saying when mitochondria produces energy then a plant or animal cell is able to respirate which then like i'm not sure what to write after that like i know that it provides the body energy so do i just write that Yeah, active transport, yeah. Okay, so then, uh, which, so when mitochondria produces energy, then a plant or animal cell is able to respirate, which uh, helps uh, with active transport, which helps with carrying out active transport. because that's like its job in the cell like it yeah i understand this all i'm just like asking how to like i summarize it like when like i'm just reading out what i've so far written so when mitochondria produces energy, then a plant or animal cell is able to respirate. But then I don't know like how to end it off. So should I say this? Uh, so when, uh, so when, so like I'm saying, how should I finish this like part off? Like when I'm saying when mitochondria produces energy, then a plant or animal cell is able to respirate. I don't know, like, should I write? Okay. Okay, this energy is then used for active transport. Okay, yeah, I've written that down. Okay, so I'm clear on that as well. Uh, it's also just another like small quick question because when it's saying what like the cell membrane is composed of, do I put bilayer? Like if it says a question of this, would I put 
what like a cell membrane is composed of. Do I put uh, protein molecules and phospholipids or do I need to put a bilayer of phospholipids? Okay. And yeah, you were saying that you're going to ask me some questions to see if I can answer them. Hello? Oh, Yeah, and just before actually, just really quickly, you know, in bacteria cells, what is the job of like the plasmids? If a bacteria cell, um, I'm not sure we haven't went over that. I've heard of those words, but we haven't went over it. Like what? Is it like, first of all, is it unicellular? Is is it eukaryotic? Okay, so like multicellular, yeah. Yeah. Mm, we don't have the nucleus in the cell.
And is that like small circular pieces of like DNA? Okay, and then because there's one, there's like, there's in the structure, there's ribosomes, like the basic structure that we know so far, there's ribosomes, flagellum, like, but we don't need to like know exactly about that right now, I think, but I think it's supposed to help like the cell with movement. And then there's the cell wall and then there's plasmids and then there's like chromosomal, like chromosomal large circular like DNA. Which is like instead of the nucleus. Oh, so it's not so. Is that plasmids and the DNA that's large, like chromosomal DNA and plasmids, like those two are instead of nucleus? Yes. Okay, and is like, yeah, so that's pretty much just what they are. Okay, right, and do you want to still quickly ask questions? Because I don't know if you're running out of time. I Yeah, but I'm pretty confident, I think, like with like, yeah, so. Yes, yes, I'm going to do obviously like revise over it even more because tomorrow's the test, but yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for help. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. You are currently the only person in the.